Today I'm going to begin the long overdue process of reviewing the equipment on my bench and we'll start with my soldering base station. This is the Weller WX2 soldering station. I am currently running two of these base units because I use three irons regularly and I just got tired of switching them out. It's called the WX2 because it has two ports, four presets, two presets for each iron. The presets you create stay with the irons so you can switch the iron to a different base station and it will have the same presets. Ethernet port, USB port. Let's get to some of the pros and cons. We'll start with the cons. A couple of things I don't like about this particular station. I don't particularly like the connections. It's very easy to knock the irons loose off of them and it'll sit there and beep at you or it won't recognize that there's an iron attached. I'm not a big fan of the power switch on the back. There are ways around this. I have it set up where I can control the power off a switch surge protector. So there are ways around this, but it's still not a very convenient location for the power switch. The touch controls can take a little bit of learning to understand. In order to change the temperature on one of the irons, you need to press on the side the iron is on and it will give you a prompt letting you know which one you are changing. I'll hook them up and show you. In order to plug them in, you just kind of have to feel it and then twist to where it will plug in, then twist. There are arrow designators on the connectors. Once they're lined up, you can take the connectors out. In order to lock them in, twist them so they're not aligned. And they come out anyway, so it doesn't matter. And when you turn them, they're locked in. They shouldn't come out. It's kind of iffy. You have to have them plugged in just about perfectly for them not to do that. So as you can see, I have two presets for each iron. Currently the Pico Pencil and the 120 Watt are plugged in. In order to choose one of the irons, you click on the side. It's chosen the WXP120. And then you can dial it up or dial it down. 450 is the max. That's typically what I use. And then if you need to choose the Pico Pencil, you click on the other side. I usually just sit on max. Something interesting with the Pico Pencil is that if you get an older one of these units that came out before the Pico Pencil, you will have to update the firmware through the USB. It's fairly straightforward, simple process. You can find videos on it. It's not a big deal. I had to update it on the first one that I purchased. The second one came with the update already installed. These stations do offer the pro feature of temperature recovery which is really important when you're soldering on a heavy ground plane or a thick board the station will compensate by pouring more power into your iron so that it can recover its temperature and solder properly this is really the difference between a hobbyist weller ironed and a professional grade weller iron these features have become available on very affordable units these units were not extremely affordable but compared to like a jbc they were when i bought these units i was looking for something in between a hacko which i had no desire to buy and a jbc which i couldn't afford and i settled on these wellers but it's a fairly common iron with a lot of repair techs when weller has come out with the new sexy version of the wx weller's new sexy <laughs> I'm doing the review on this one because I think at some point these will come available at a more reasonable price for people looking for irons and if you see one out there on the used market I highly recommend you grab one. I've been using this station for over four years. We'll get into each and every iron. I'm going to do individual reviews of them I think or I may just do a review on all the irons at once. I don't know. But stay tuned for that. You can run several very powerful irons off of it. I think they have up to like a 200 plus watt iron and you can run two of them off the unit. The highest one I currently run is the 120 watt, which is more than adequate for all of my work. It may be even a bit overpowered for a lot of my work. You'll find most techs use something in the 60 to 90 watt range. The WX2 Weller Soldering Station. So in conclusion, I love my soldering station. I do have to be transparent in the fact that these days, many of the features that this soldering iron offers come in much more affordable packages. There was a time where you couldn't get these features in anything below what these cost. 
Now you can get the China versions for maybe a quarter of what I put into this setup. However, this is a Weller. And I know sometimes Weller has a reputation of being low end on hobbyists, and they do have low end on hobbyist irons, but their professional grade is second maybe to one. So I don't think you can really go wrong with Weller. They have a long standing reputation. I've never had fear of this system not working or failing to work or going away. I, I think it's possibly a lifetime system. I'm not in a hurry to upgrade to their new sexy, even though it's quite sexy. I don't foresee a point in time where I'm going to feel like the need to upgrade from this system. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one. And I'll see you there. Until then, have a blessed day.